What happened? What happened? You got hit. Oh, you got your shot. Name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Wake up. What's your name? What's your name? Anything. Shit. Can you say Medic! 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 We decided to go public with our story, just to get the facts straight. Millions have told their story for us. And I'm not saying that we're, we're innocent. All we wanted was to live the American dream. The owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. So they obviously don't have jobs. Right? So I asked one guy who had a job sign, do you have a job? He said, I had a job, but I quit to come to the protest. <laughs> and now I don't have a job right. because I'm protesting not enough jobs. We could have been millionaires. We could have been rich beyond rich. We could have been really rich. Three cards down. Pick the right one. That's 50%. It's nowhere near 50%, but that's what we were told. We were told the odds were in our favor. That's what we were told. We were told the odds were in our favor. Weren't we told that? Yeah. We were lied to. Don't blame Wall Street. Don't blame the big banks. If you don't have a job and you are not rich, blame yourself. The world is a business, Mr. Bill. I think my favorite was, I'm born to be here. <laughs> you were born to be at a Grateful Dead concert. The name of the game is Street Card Americano. Just pick the corporate banker. How difficult could that be? That's the game. It's easy. Yeah, you probably should have left at that point. Yeah, well, you, well, you think things are going to get better. You think things are going to change. You're always told that the economy is going to get better. You're one tax cut away from prosperity. The American dream is no longer about success. It's a, it's a game of mere survival now. It's all a lie. Freaking Ponzi scheme. If you are envious of somebody that happens to be rich, that you call a fat cat, go and get rich. The American people aren't stupid. We know that we can have jobs in this country. We know we're not the poorest country in the world. This is not Bangladesh. We are still the richest country in the history of the world. The pie is getting bigger every year. It's just the middle class and working class slice is getting smaller every year. That's what's wrong with America. And we want to fix that. You know the meaning of in God we trust? It's slavery to the almighty buck. I have a question for you. Two men walk into a bank. One man has $5,000 in debt, and the other in $50,000. Who gets the loan? The $5,000 guy. Wrong. The $50,000 guy. You wanna know why? Because it shows greater responsibility, and the banks trust him. Sleight of hand, casino economist. People of the United States of America, your Congress is bought. Your Congress is incapable of making legislation on health care, banking, trade, or taxes, because if they do it, they will lose their political funding, and they won't do it. Reduce benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your Social Security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. You gotta like a guy like Donald Trump for president. Who better to run a casino economy than a casino owner, right? You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. If you think of poverty as an illness, you can cure yourself. You can cure yourself with attitude, a positive attitude. You do know Donald Trump is not running for president anymore. Of course not. We like to think we're Canada, right? Well, the cold sucks, equality is flat out boring, and what fun is it if you can't risk every last cent you got? Now pick a card. We were out of cash by then. We never really had any cash to begin with. Right, that, that's what really hurt. I mean, we're, we were debt slaves to money that we never owned. Yeah, it takes really 
knowing how worthless you are in the end to realize how worthless you are to begin with. Yeah, and, and this guy, he, he, he never loses actually. If you turn debt into asset, you never lose. I mean, you never have any debt. You walk into a bank and you take out a $50,000 loan and then you have to pay that back with real actual money and then interest on top of that. The game is rigged. You know what the Donald once told me? I don't play the game to make money. I play the game so the game doesn't play me. Call it a scam. Call it what you want. Call it your mother's anabolic tick cream. Make money or move to Cuba. The game is all about attitude. If you come to the table thinking you're going to lose, you're going to lose.